to kind of start out talking about, we found an article on Windows Central around Qualcomm, Qualcomm confirms Snapdragon X Elite PCs will launch with the next version of Windows in June. This is going to be interesting because interesting because I'm going to call this round two of Windows on ARM um, because the first one they did was around the Surface Pro X a while back and that failed miserably. If we can even go back to the original, um, what was the tablet they had, the RT. ARM version? RT, yes. Yeah, so is this going to be return of the RT or return of the X? I have no clue. Um, yeah, the really terrible, is that what that stood for? Yeah, really, really terrible. So um, we found this article. Brian, you want to kind of talk about this to begin with? Yeah, I mean, long story short, nothing is, uh, you know, Qualcomm's coming out with a new version of their Snapdragon called the uh, X Elite. Nothing, uh, this will be, you know, their big daddy for their ARM processor. Um, hopefully it'll be the follow-up to, I think it was the SQ1, SQ2 that Microsoft uh, labeled. Nothing, yep. And uh, there was nothing wrong with those processors. Uh, they were a little on the slowish side for a PC. Um, fantastic for a mobile uh, platform, I guess. Nothing, but... Um, this should be the follow-up to that. It should have a lot more oomph. It's going to have an NPU for the AI PC, whatever that's going to be. Nothing, and uh, it should be truly ready for you know the next version of whatever Microsoft is determining the AI PC to be outside of the Intel market. Nothing. So um, very interesting that you know again Snapdragon should run on less power consumption, should uh, require less you know um, heat dissipation. Um, allow us to make the, you know, the actual tablet a lot slimmer. I don't know if you remember that, uh, the older, the Surface Pro X and everything, but um, it, yeah. it was a sleek device. I mean, here's a, here's an image of it. Um, a hell of a lot thinner, did not require active cooling. Um, when you pulled the keyboard off and you held it, it was actually felt like a tablet. Uh, the problem was it was a little slow and had no apps for ARM that were native to ARM. So, you know, again, hurting performance. Um, and probably overall battery drag and stuff like that. So yeah, I wish that would have made it. I like that tablet. I, like, I mean, the rounded corners. It felt like a an iPad competitor. And I think, and I yeah, think it really felt very premium. Too. Yeah, it did. And I mean, the kickstand, everything about it, you know, just screamed all the reasons you would want to buy Surface. Um, you know, so long story short, I, I think yeah, we're going to see an introduction to this. Whether or not Microsoft truly embraces this by updating windows to take advantage of arm and make a translation layer much like rosetta was for uh the movement to the m series on the apple processors and what made that so successful coming off of intel into the arm world um you know that's really where there was no gap the little gap nothing in having the uh different catalog of applications available so I'm excited about this. Nothing. I think this could be really cool and uh, even drive a new innovation in what the form factor is for a Surface Pro. Yeah, I, I still say Microsoft has to rewrite Windows to make it a, a really viable ARM product and, and keeping the applications separate from the OS. I mean, they're stating here that these PCs will be the first to ship with the upcoming uh, Germanium uh platform release of Windows. Microsoft isn't expected to begin rolling out the next version of Windows until September, October for existing Windows uh, 11 PCs. But what they haven't talked about is here is that last bullet point. It's still unclear if the next version of Windows will be another Windows 11 feature update or will be Windows 12. Now, they referenced this with a Windows 11 feature update with the code version, which was uh, up to the uh, beginning of the article, which was, sorry, where did it go? Uh, right H 24 yeah, H2. Uh, 24 H2. So how is that going to be? I mean, if we look at that too, that means second half of 24, if I remember correctly, based on some of their naming conventions. Um, they also talk about, we're tracking to the launch of products with the chipset tied to the next version of Microsoft windows. They keep talking about the next version. Typically when they say that it's a major version revision versus just a, a slight update. Well, you also hope we're not, fracturing the platform i mean this is this yes. is where are we going to have a windows rt again arm knowing versus normal windows path uh to support the intel side uh you know they're gonna be microsoft's gonna be hard hard to turn away from intel and i think especially because you know gaming is such a big thing on the windows platform and you know intel is really draw intel and uh, amd really drive the business there and i think so i mean Hopefully it's a single version of Windows that adapts to the processor that's actually involved in the PC at the time. 
and yep. I think it knows what to do natively as opposed to, okay, I got to make sure I'm buying the right thing for the right piece of hardware from Microsoft at the right time. Yeah, I'm curious to see. I'm also curious to see, are they going to pay attention to detail like they did on the X um, that you just showed their pitch in, uh, a picture of? I hope, I want to see a business class machine that anybody can use. I mean, it doesn't need 64 layers of LEDs and all kind of flashing on it. Make it a very good dual purpose machine. And I think they got a good chance of, of regaining a lot of market uh, market share back on that one. Um, it says we're still maintaining the same date, which is driven by Windows, which is mid 2024. Now, the other side to this, too, is that you've also seen a leadership change on that side of the house. What does that mean long term? I don't know. And is this going to be solely tied to Microsoft from a hardware perspective, or is it going to branch out and different vendors um, are going to do this? And how is this going to affect the, the PC gaming world? Um, that's another question around um, where is this going to help other than to say video resolution or things like that? What is it going to give them on a mobile platform? I, I think that's going to be a big question there. Um, the update, though, they're saying is focused on new AI capabilities. So they're going to have to have an NPU in there, which is what the arm is going to bring them. Um, I don't know. I think it's going to be interesting. I want to see how this kind of shakes out uh, as we go forward. And we'll keep everybody in the loop on this one. Yeah, I think there definitely is going to be more to come. You know, again, fracturing the OS could be a problem. Uh, you know, the form factors will be interesting to see what's coming out, you know, and truly where is Microsoft headed if they're committed to like Apple did going to ARM based and then with the proper software to make the bridge work well. Fantastic. Where does that leave Intel and AMD? Uh, hopefully reconsidering what their architectures really are. I mean, x86 has been around for a long time and, yeah. um, you know, is it the future? I don't know. Nothing. I mean, I'm definitely not a uh, you know hardware engineer. Nothing, but you know, I, what I would don't like to see is fractured platforms making confusion for the end consumer. Yeah, and so. I don't want to see them do like they're kind of doing now. Is don't call this Windows 11 with Copilot, please. <laughs> Don't don't call. I know we're adding the, the Copilot button to a bunch of new keyboards, everything, but don't do that. I mean, if you do that, you're you're, in my opinion, you're doomed to fail. I, I just think it needs to be something better than that. Um, they're talking about releasing it in two waves. The first wave consisting of Windows, uh, Germanium platform release shipping on new Snapdragon X Elite hardware. This update won't be made available as an OTA, which is interesting uh, for existing PCs as it's not scheduled to take place until September or October once the Hudson Valley update is finalized. So that means if you want to play with this version, you're going to have to go out and buy a new PC. Yeah, at least there you're going to end up waiting till October, most likely. But I, I mean, we'll see. Um, there's definitely more to come here. There's going to be announcements. I'm guessing we'll see a lot of announcements over March. You know, Microsoft is always good about doing something within a week of when Apple announces new hardware for the iPads and for the, uh, you know, new M3 Air and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, March is going to be the time frame to watch then with probably initial introductions over the summer. Nothing, and then you know, final releases coming out in the fall, like normal. So uh, yeah. you know, we'll see what we see. Nothing uh, again. Throw stuff in the comments. Tell us what your thoughts on here. Would you be excited about an ARM processor in the Windows platform, or is that just uh, much to do about nothing? Should be interesting. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>